Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today. A little bit different of a video for you. We are doing our 100th video extravaganza. That's right, I have made and posted 99 videos so far, and this is the 100th video. I wanted to go over a couple things. Um, 99 videos, the successes, failures, and overall health of the channel. The games that we have completed together, and the ones that have pa we've paused, and hopefully we'll be able to go back and continue working on those. Some questions and answers that you guys have posted in the comments of the 90 on videos I've made so far, and I will give you those answers. And then what tomorrow looks like, so where I want to take the channel in the future. So all the data you'll see in here is correct as of 10-26-2021. That is the day I'm recording it, and hopefully I will have it posted uh, today as well. So let's go ahead and start with the successes of the channel. So my most popular video by far is, ironically enough, my first video. Building a station held together by duct tape and hot dogs. This is a Meeple Station video where we went ahead and built our beautiful Tooth uh, One station. So as of today, it has 1,620 views, 56 thumbs up, 148.3 hours of watch time, and has got me a massive 33 subscribers. I'm surprised this video has made it that far. I, I When I started this, this was uh, just for fun. I wanted to have a creative outlet. But clearly the video's got some traction. It's by no means viral. But I am proud that 1,620 people, well, uh, probably a little less than that, but quite a few people have clicked on it and at least watched a little bit of it. 56 of you have given it a thumbs up. Uh, 148 hours of watch time, that's just unbelievable. I mean, that video probably took me an hour to record and edit. Um, so again, I am just so happy and so thrilled this video is doing well. Now, why do I think that's done relatively well? One, this is kind of a small niche game. It's not as big as um, Subnautica, Factorio, other games like that. You know, if you're looking out for this game or you're searching for this game, there's probably not a lot of people doing content on it. Um, when I first recorded it, there was, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 videos um, on it and as far as i can tell i think i'm the only person that's played through the entire campaign now i could be completely wrong on that so you know if someone else has done that i am so sorry that i, I wasn't able to watch your video but as far as i can tell i think i'm the only one that has played through the entire campaign a lot of let's plays or let's tries or as you'll see here let's game it out has played the game but he uh in a his fantastic way has used it to spoof some things um, so moving on to that next point there, uh, I do get a lot of click-throughs from his videos, Josh's videos, Let's Game It Out videos, uh, which is a big honor because he's kind of one of the channels I was watching, like, okay, this is how he plays, this is what he's talking about, uh, trying to uh, emulate uh, what he does and hopefully get to his success one point, successful standpoint. Excuse me, wow, that, that's just butchering that. I'd like to be success successful as him one day. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so now some failures, yeah. Uh, got some videos out there that have gotten maybe 10, 15 views. No, nothing in the single digits, luckily. Um, most videos reach double digits after like three or four days. I'm quite proud of that. Uh, but like this Drill Deal and Farm Manager 2021 Prologue. Um, these were some of my earlier videos where I was exploring, learning how to record, figuring out my voice, getting my introduction down. Um, so there, there's, I think, like six or seven videos I made that were just on demos. Um, that you can download off Steam. And he's like, I, I just want to play those, record them really quick, see what happens, throw it out there, get some feedback. So why it was a good learning experience for me, these videos have not done very well on the channel. Like I said, maybe 10, 15 views on some of these. And um, there's just, you know, you learn a lot from it and you move on. Uh, all right, so the overall health of the channel, the numbers you guys want to see. So... This photo hasn't been updated because I updated these numbers today, but the numbers on the left, the, the type numbers are correct. As of uh, October 26th today, uh, 10,062 views on the channel. Quite proud of that. 1,462.1 uh, hours of view time. So it's slowly going up. We're almost to that 4,000. Um, so I'm, I'm imagining by the end of the year, so in about two months' time, I'm going to say I have somewhere around 16 or 1650 hours of watch time and my total views probably like 13,000 uh, if I had to guess. Um, subscribers, 135. It did shoot up a lot in June and July. I got about 50 subscribers between those two months. Uh, now it's kind of slowed down a little bit to about 10 a month. Um, so I started January of 2021, so coming up on a year. 
Uh, and we've got 135 subscribers. I'm, again, pretty happy with that. Uh, lifetime click-through rate is 3.7%, so it is on the lower end. However, it has been trending up over the last month or two. Uh, as of the last 28 days, it did go up to 4%. Um, I think yesterday it was at 4.1, and then today when I checked, it was at 4%. Uh, total impressions, 132,000, with an average view duration of 8 minutes and 43 seconds on a video. Now, most of my videos are about that 20 to 21 minute mark. Some are a little longer. This one will probably be a little bit shorter, unless I talk your guys' ears off, which there's a high possibility that happens. Um, so just a little bit under 50%. And everything I can read on Reddit, internet, whatever, I'm doing okay on the, the viewer retention, the average view durations. Most people say... Like the 50 to 60% mark is is good. I'm just a little bit below that. I think um, probably like 45, 40% retention, which I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see from this chart here where the views are, obviously as we progress, you know, December 29th, I think was when I officially started the channel. Um, I uploaded three videos. They're actually Meeple Station videos. And then I was like, you know what? I want to take this serious. So I went ahead and bought a uh, Blue Yeti microphone. So I took those three videos off, re-recorded them with um, better audio, and uh, posted those the first week of January, second week of January. And you can kind of see um, where that, that lull is right at the beginning, and then it peaks up again. That's when I started reposting. And, you know, you can just see those spikes are going up over time, and the, the overall view count or the, the average view count on my channel is about 30, maybe 40 views a day some days are really great um as you can see like i said july i was doing really good i don't know if the algorithm was loving me or what um but end of june all of july fantastic and then august started to slow down um but it's been consistent um since july like i said that 30 to 40 view mark uh there's that spike there like the end of august where i got like 125 views in one day uh that was a pretty good day i think i got like 22 hours of watch time that day too so again, uh, channel's doing pretty well overall, about where I expected it. I was hoping for maybe just a few more subscribers. Uh, I'm kind of, I would love to be to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Realistically, I think 175 subscribers is about uh, where I'll end at the end of the year. But you never know, maybe the next video, maybe this video, for whatever reason, will take off. And everyone will go back and check out uh, all that great content I've been posting. So let's go ahead and look at the games. So the completed games pending major updates. Uh, Meeple Station, we have played the entire campaign, the tutorial, and we have looked at some of the mods you can download and use. This is by far uh, my longest. I think it's like 26 videos, about 20 minutes each. Um, and most productive when it comes to a channel standpoint of videos. Um, a lot of times you can kind of see or I can kind of see someone come in, watch a couple videos, and then you know come back and I can kind of see that slow progression over time. Final Station was our most recent game we have completed and we've also done The Only Trader. Uh, a different game than Meeple Station, a, a scroller shooter uh, that was a little bit crazy. Got some good comments, some good feedback on that. Everyone seemed to like that. Uh, my little blacksmith shop we messed around in. Um, no story yet. We we played around, saw some of the, the features. Uh, again, got some good feedback. Did a review of that game. Uh, that video does uh, well relative to my overall channel. Uh, Dorf Romantic, we did some tile building in that game. It was fun. I don't know if I can do any more videos, again, pending major updates. And then Becastled, we did, I think, 10 videos? Um and my computer was starting to chug along a little bit just as there was more and more objects on the screen. It couldn't quite handle going much past where I was at. So I'm going to call that finished again. That was an early access. Um, so is actually those bottom three games. My Little Blacksmith Shop, Dorf Romantic, and Big Castle, they're all in early access. So potential to come back and visit them if there's a big update and we can see, see the new content. So uh, loading in progress are games we are currently working on. Honey, I Joined a Cult. I really don't know how many more episodes that will take to finish. I've been enjoying it, uh, getting pretty decent feedback on it. And then Balance City was, again, one of those earlier games uh, I was playing. I only really need to do one more episode to finish it, um, so I will probably finish that. So pause games are games that I've uh, done a couple episodes on, uh, maybe like two, three episodes, and uh, went on to something else for, for whatever reason. So you can see Overcrowded, Hydroneer, Surviving Marvs, Timberborn, and Rimworld. 
Now, granted, when I did Timberborn, it was just the demo version. Um, so really, I could put that in completed, at least for the demo. I did buy the full version, or excuse me, the early access version. So I'd love to go back and maybe check some out. Uh, check out some of the water features and things like that. Overcrowded, the first video has been doing pretty well because I just had their one year anniversary. Hydranair fell off the map. Surviving Mars didn't do very well. Um, Rimworld, the problem with Rimworld, actually the problem with a lot of these games, they're pretty popular games. Um, I don't know what else I can offer that you guys can't find anywhere else. I feel like the, the games we've completed so far are a little more on the niche side. Um, so, I don't know. We might go back and see what we can do in those. You guys have asked for more RimWorld uh, and I think some more Timberborn. Now, this last court category down here is the Labors of Love. Um, so I put Company of Heroes and Torchlight in there. So Company of Heroes is actually the second game I recorded after Meeple Station. I think I did two or three Meeple Station episodes and then did two or three Company of Heroes episodes. Company of Heroes was probably my favorite game growing up. Just loved World War II, the RTS, all that. I probably racked up, I don't know, a couple hundred hours when it first came out um, between the campaign and playing the computer and multiplayer. Um, so I did the first three missions of Company of Heroes, but those missions start to get long. I'm talking like an hour, hour and a half for some of the missions, um, which kind of breaks the mold of what I'm trying to do with the quicker 20, 22 minute videos. Um, so I might go back and maybe visit that, finish out the campaign here and there. You might just see some random videos popping up. Same with Torchlight. Um, some of these dungeons are getting a little repetitive, and I don't. there's not much else I can say. So I might just kind of blitz through the dungeon and get to like where the, the lore is at or where the characters are talking and be like, all right, here we are, and let's see what they have to say. And okay, I'll see you guys, and then jump to the next uh, major part and just not subject you to seeing all the combat because that combat does get a little... Slow and repetitive. Uh, you know, if I was streaming, I could be talking to you guys, which, speaking of streaming, we might do in the future. You never know. Um, so, yeah, Labors of Love. I would still like to go back and uh, finish those, especially the first Company of Heroes and the first Torchlight, since we did start those, and there's some story elements behind those. All right, so some questions and answers that you guys have posted throughout the different 99 videos um, that I've answered in the comments, but I just want to make sure everyone gets a chance to see those. Uh, so obviously the first question is, who am I? So I am a good old American boy sitting in the Midwest here. Um, yeah, the Midwest, kind of near Chicago. And I am a dentist. And this is kind of my other creative outlet. I work with a lot of patients with um, that are medically complex, both due to mental and physical constraints. So I see a lot of patients that are getting worked up for cancer surgeries, getting worked up for organ transplants, things like that. So I help optimize them for those surgeries where they'll be immunosuppressed for months, if not years. So we need to make sure their mouth is in the, the best shape. In addition to that, I take patients who have autism, Down syndrome, other um, things of that nature to operate the operating room. So same operating room where if you're having open heart surgery, and the anesthesiologist puts them to sleep for me, and then I do all their dentistry. Just a little bit of de a different type of dentistry that you guys, uh, at least in the United States, might not see. Um, I do, like I said, just do some different things here and there. Uh, so where are you from? I am from the Midwest, um, kind of near Chicago area. Uh, why did you start doing YouTube? Again, just as a creative outlet for myself. You know, I work all day and I come home and sometimes I just want to sit and play video games. So why not sit and play video games and record and talk to you guys and hopefully, you know, grow a channel here and maybe uh, talk to you guys, do some some let's plays together, uh, play some games together. Just find some people that enjoy what I do uh, to, to relax. What is my favorite game? That is a loaded question. You know, on that last slide, I was talking about Company of Heroes. That was probably one of my favorite PC games growing up. Uh, you know, Xbox. I, I, I'm an Xbox person. Um, I, you know, Halo was great. Call of Duty was good. It's kind of gone downhill a little bit since uh, the last five years, in my opinion. Um, so that's a, that's a loaded question. Right now, I've been playing a lot of um, Crusader Kings, which is a, a grand strategy game. Um, been playing Crusader Kings 2. I know 3's out, uh, but I haven't bought that yet. I've uh, really enjoyed 2. So I've been just, you know, it bounces around from time to time. Anyways, let me know uh, if there's more you guys want to know about me down in the comments below. Um, you know, be sure to post them, and I will definitely get back to you guys. 
kind of plan on doing one of these like update videos at every major milestone. Um, I know I didn't really do a hundred subscriber milestone, which is kind of the first video everyone does. Um, I did the the mods for Meeple Station, um, but that was just kind of thrown together. Um, so what tomorrow looks like? What do I want to do in the future? So game suggested by you guys, and if I mispronounce the game or your name, I am so sorry. Again, I'm just uh, a guy sitting here in the Midwest who is never really cultured. Um, so Raji, Ra Rajai, um, this was suggested a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, uh, by uh, this person here. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name incorrectly. I think it's like Sash Sashank. Um, I looked into it. It's interesting. Uh, it's kind of similar to the final station in a gameplay standpoint, um, but I think it's described as it's uh, it's a uh, um, God. I'm blanking now, but something happens and you're a girl, and I think you're in India or somewhere uh, of that area, and you're you're trying to protect your your brother, or the king, or something like that. Um, Craft the World by Bomb Squad, uh, 1989. Interesting game. I actually bought this game back in 2014. I, I saw saw it, bought it on sale. I'm pretty sure during like the winter sale or something like that. Played a little bit of it and haven't played it since. I did download it and kind of mess around with it. I think it's a very interesting game. There are a lot of DLCs out and potentially in with the the winter sale or the fall sale, the Halloween sale coming up here in the next couple days. Hopefully, might be able to pick up those and then play that for you guys. Eco, another game that was suggested by Griffin Adams. I have had that. I was actually playing a little bit. But if you, as you guys have heard me complain, my computer is not the greatest. Uh, I'm just on this little uh, family laptop. Hopefully, I'll be able to upgrade that here soon. I know I've been talking about that since I started. Um, big changes in my life coming that hopefully financially allow me to do that. Eco is a game where the, you can change it a little bit here and there, but the overall story is there's a meteor coming towards your planet, and you have to build a laser to, excuse me, blow up that meteor. Well, in a, in a, similar to Minecraft, you go gather resources, you get your iron, da 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 and but in the process of doing that, you can pollute the planet. So you have to balance between polluting the planet. And getting the resources you need to stop the meteor or build the laser to stop the meteor. Uh, very interesting idea. Uh, again, I played around just on a single player server by myself, did some farming, did some building. It's like Minecraft, but 10 times more complex. Um, some other games that have been suggested by multiple people Subnautica, uh, Prison Architect, which I do own, Continue Rimworld, and Factorio, uh, which I own Factorio as well. Um, Factorio is a little too pick complex for my brain. Uh, RimWorld and Prison Architect, uh, very similar, especially in graphics and play style a little bit. Uh, so we might have to come back. Definitely want to revisit RimWorld and then maybe uh, Prison Architect, especially now that there's a couple DLCs out. There's the, I don't know, I don't remember the names of them, but there's like the one where you're supposed to be able to make Alcatraz and now they have the one, the gardening one. And there's also one on, I think, uh, Prison Labor or something like that. Um, over here on the other side of the slide, we have games I have thought about. So obviously I want to continue, Honey, I Joined a Cult. Go ahead and finish up Balance City. Like I said, just one more episode. And then I got most of the games I listed under the pause category, Company of Heroes, Torchlight for my labors of love. The other one I wanted to throw out, Firewatch. It's a little bit of an older game. It's story driven. I played probably the first half hour, 45 minutes of it. Uh, but you're, the story is you're a person who's on a fire tower out in the middle of like Wyoming or Montana, somewhere out in the American West, and strange things start to happen. And you have to explore and figure out what's going on, and your only communication with the outside world is a walkie-talkie. So your boss can communicate with you through this walkie-talkie. Um, I don't want to spoil what happens early in the game, uh, but it's uh, suspense, sort of. Um, so maybe go do that, because that's story-driven, and I think that'd be a good game to balance with like Honey, I Joined a Call or another game that, I mean, yeah, there's story in Honey, I Joined a Call, but it's more like a, you know, builder open world Why this Firewatch is uh, certainly all story driven. All right. So here we go. Last slide. I am almost at 20 minutes. So I know I said this would be shorter, but here I've been talking this entire time. So how can you guys help me grow and become better? As always, please, 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 please give me comments, um, feedback on the videos. 
what you think of the audio, what do you think of the video, the commentary, both positive, negative. Any feedback you guys can give me will help me grow and become better here and get the best content for you guys. If you don't mind, uh, share with your friends. If you think they'll find this type of content interesting, don't don't just ask them to subscribe. I don't want dead subscribers because if you again you're going to the deep weeds and it's like dead subscribers can damage your channel because they get the impressions and they don't click on the video. So only share it with your friends if you feel like they would enjoy the content I've been making. And then lastly, guys, continue being awesome. The five or six of you that have become regulars, I appreciate it. This is why I do it for you guys, and hopefully we can create some more regulars. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this content, um, don't forget to thumbs up the video so more and more people on the YouTubes can see it. Comment on anything I've talked about today. You know, Leave me some questions. I'll answer them for you guys about myself. Um, again, any feedback on my videos, this video, games you want to see, games you don't want to see. Uh, if you want, if there's a specific games you guys want me to continue, I know I ask that every time and I always respond. But the more ideas we get, the more um, the more I can do for you. So, lastly, if you've enjoyed this content, maybe you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you happen to come across multiple of my videos, and you've come across this one now. If you really enjoy it, hey, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out and listening to me talk with no gameplay in the background, but I think these videos are important just to give everyone an idea of what's going on and where I want to take the channel. So thank you so much again for coming out, and we'll see you in the next video.